while the conservative government is completely destroying our border security, there is no real scrutiny on the Labour Party's immigration policies, except from Reform UK. Yes, this is the latest attack ad from Richard Tice. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elites and today the Labour Party. So we're going to talk about a number of issues uh, uh, today throughout the day. Every half an hour we're going to come to you guys with a number of updates including the Labour Party, what's happened with the Royal Air Force as well as Greta Thunberg's trip to Ukraine. There's so much to talk about. Uh, first things first, I want to say massive thank you to everybody in uh, recent days and weeks so for subscribing to the channel. We are getting so close. We are currently on 294,234 subscribers. We're getting close to 300,000. As I said before, if you help us reach that number, we'll throw a big party this summer uh, to celebrate together. But first, let's talk about Reform UK. Now, Richard Tice does have a show on talk radio, talk TV. But apart from that, Reform UK don't really get any media attention. But they are still going up in the opinion polls and they're getting a lot of traction in, on social media, new media. And this is their latest uh, attack ad against the Labour Party. So we have to make the case for the benefits of migration, the benefits of free movement. We have to make the case for freedom of movement. And we have to make it strongly. We don't want open borders. Um, freedom of movement has gone and it's not coming back. Really? It feels to me that you have shifted, I guess, on <laughs> immigration again uh, in the last few years. So in the leadership campaign, uh, we can see uh, on one side of the screen, one of your pledges was to defend free movement as we leave the EU, yeah. a leadership pledge in 2020. And then compare that to a Mail on Sunday interview, Freedom of movement is a red line for me. It won't come back under my well, let's just look at these, those. Are, these are diametrically opposed. Of course they are. Look. Well, that was pretty good, pretty solid. And uh, I agree with the message. The only net zero we want is net zero immigration at this point, uh, not the net zero, net stupid uh, energy stuff that is completely an oxymoron when you have Grant Shapps being a net zero minister as well as a security, well, energy security minister. And you've got that, as I said earlier, we are going to talk about uh, Greta, Thun Greta Thunberg's trip to Zelensky's office in Ukraine. That was a little bit weird that happened uh, yesterday. And uh, of course, everything else from this government, we know that this government doesn't have any clue don't have any plan or any appetite really to actually fight back against ECHR, against our own uh, judges and the woke activist lawyers. We know that. But what is the Labour Party stand, uh, standing for right now? Because again, the mainstream media, the job of these reporters and journalists are to hold the power to account. His Majesty's most loyal opposition is also in a position of power. You must hold the power to account. These people are potentially going to be forming the next government within the next year or so. So why is the media not scrutinizing Labour policies? This is the biggest question. And again, if it weren't for Reform UK or Richard Tice or new media outlets like us, then a lot of people in the country wouldn't know. They'd probably just assume anything they were reading in a newspaper headline, whatever Starmer says every Tuesday when he changes his mind, they would just assume, well, that's the truth. And they just assume that this has been solid and consistent with Labour policy. Well, it's not really, is it? Because they keep changing it every half an hour. But on this channel, we'll keep you guys posted that Reform UK are doing well in the opinion polls because of these issues. And we're going to come back in half an hour with more updates for you guys. We're going to talk about RAF going woke. Yep. I'm Maya Susi, and we are the media.